Jamie, right now you've been talking to people who, who have connections to that concert that was going on there in Las Vegas when this happened. That's right, Sherry. For starters, some of the musicians that were performing at that Route 91 Harvest Festival are from Alabama. Bradley Jordan is a music promoter. He works for musicians from Alabama, including Muscadine Bloodline and Tyler Reeve. Both were at the Route 91 Harvest Festival when a gunman showered the crowd with bullets from the Mandalay Bay Hotel. Jordan decided at the last minute not to go to Las Vegas for the festival. I was just uh, terrified. Monday morning, Jordan got a first-hand account of the tragedy as he called musicians to make sure they were safe. One of the guys in the Muscadine Bloodlines band, the bass player, somebody standing next to him actually got shot and was treated. And uh, I haven't heard a report of the person's okay, but I hope they are. As for Tyler Reeve. He said that him and Chris Young jumped into a trailer and the, the trailer was getting shot up with bullets. I could hear them. It's a nightmare that doesn't just hit home in the country music community. I was very concerned that they might be in that area. Both of Birmingham radio host Kip Kiefer's sons live in Las Vegas. Thankfully, they're okay, but one of them did witness the aftermath. And he said a lot of people ended up in his parking lot. A lot of them were, had obvious blood stains and uh, were telling stories about uh, the, the, really the amount of the carnage. The times we live in, I mean, I've always instilled them to be totally aware of all their surroundings. And, 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 uh, but this, this is such a horrific attack. I asked Bradley Jordan if there was anything those musicians needed right now. Again, they are okay, but he said just pray. Both Tyler Reeve and Muscadine Bloodline have shows planned in Alabama later this month. Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.